are glad to be back with Vice President Joe Biden. You know, I was reading growing up, they called you Joe Impedimenta, is that correct? <laughs> because of a stutter that you had. And I know, I mean, so many people do struggle with that. Exactly how did you overcome it? Over well, the years. I, I used to pray. Everybody, my colleagues in the Senate used to always kid me because I'm always quoting Irish poets or always writing. The reason I was, I'd stand in front of my mirror at night as a kid in our bedroom and with my brothers, and I would look in the mirror and I would repeat over and over again Yeats and, and Emerson, who's not an Irish poet, mm -hmm. but uh, trying to control because when you stutter, it's the most debilitating thing. I mean, yeah. people, you, it's hard to ask you to go to the p p p p prom. Mm -hmm. Right. And they look at you yeah. and they go, "You, this must be a, this this guy must be an idiot." Or so I would, what I would do is I would try to get a rhythm so I wouldn't contort my face. And I, Emerson, meek young men grow up in libraries to believe. They're, et cetera. So I practiced and pra and I, it wasn't really until I got into college and I forced myself to get in public speaking classes. But um, it is. Uh, and in a sense, as my mom said, of everything bad, something good comes, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me because it makes you, we, we, we have an expression, and my dad used to say, you can never say anything about another person that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, because it's so, everybody has something yeah, that's wrong with them. And, yeah. uh, and they're dealing with, so for me, it was a, I guess it sensitized me in a way that was uh, maybe wouldn't have happened, well, but... Um, and you still today, you work with the American Institute of Study. Well, I, I do. Just the, want to by the way, that. the American Institute did. of Study, first-rate operation. And I, I'm embarrassed, Barbara, because when I first got into the Senate, they asked me whether I would be the honorary chair. Mm -hmm. And I didn't do it because back in those days, people said, well, if you stutter, there must be something emotionally wrong with you. Oh, and right. I did not want... And I was embarrassed that I wouldn't let myself be identified with having been a stutterer. And occasionally I find myself, or once in a while, I'll, I'll catch yes. myself doing that. And it's, uh, but it just is, uh, it's something that is, um, you know, and you can't, anybody listening is a stutterer. You can't let it define who Absolutely. you are.